Hi friends, this is Raghura. In this video, we are going to discuss why we need to go to the digital communication when there is analog communication. We will discuss the need on the basis of the following parameters. First, the channel characteristics. The channel characteristics are the bandwidth and power. When it comes to the bandwidth, the bandwidth is higher in digital signals, uh, the higher in digital communication when compared to the analog communication. Next comes the power. As the digital communication has consumed larger bandwidth, it, has, it will consume lesser amount of power when it comes to the analog communication and remember bandwidth is cheaper when compared to the power. And noise and distortion. The digital signal or digital communication uh, whatever we have performed is rugged and it is resistant towards the channel distortions and noise which has been uh, which for which the digital signal has been facing. And coming to the SNR, see in noise we have to discuss about the important topic called SNR that is signal to noise ratio. For a typical analog signal, the SNR at the receiver has to be 40 to 50 decibel. For an analog, for a digital signal, it has to be um, uh, 20 decibel. So, we are going to see SNR in detail, that is SNR is measured in decibels. It is the ratio of the digital signal or this is the ratio of the signal voltage to that of the noise voltage that is 20 log Vs by Vn to the base 10. So in, in case of analog signal we have discussed that uh, the SNR has to be 40 decibel at the receiver. So 20 log Vs to the Vn by Vs into the base 10. So Vs is equal to 100 times Vn. That is for an analog signal to properly reconstruct a message signal, the voltage signal has to be at least 100 times the voltage of the noise at the receiver. Whereas when it comes to the digital signal, it is only 20 dB. That is Vs is 10 times Vn. That is it is enough if the voltage of the digital signal or it is enough if the voltage of the received signal is 10 times the voltage of the noise. So here in this way the digital signal has an advantage when it compared to the analog signal but the disadvantage is if the digital signal has an SNR value less than 20 it is approximately impossible to get back the message signal whereas it is not in the case of the analog signal. And one more thing is hardware. In digital communication or digital signal processing it is enough if we have uh, VLSI or, SA, uh, or LSI. Because of the advancement of the technology, it has been very easy to convert an analog signal into that of digital signal. Uh, the typical example is the USB flash drive to that of uh, gramophone record. Even in the storage purposes, it is easier to store digital data when compared to the analog data. Big gramophone records when compared to small USB flash drive. Now coming to the error rate, error rate is very low in digital signal. It is extremely low, whereas uh, we can't possibly judge uh, the analog signal to digital signal in case of error because digital signal will not give any error uh, if properly maintained or properly processed. Coming to the fidelity, fidelity means the faithful reproduction of the message signal uh, or comparison of the received signal to that of the message signal. Fidelity is very high in case of the digital communication when compared to the analog communication. Repeaters, the greatest advantage of the digital communication is the repeaters. That is. Whenever we transmit a digital signal over a channel, what happens is after, after traveling certain distance, the signal gets attenuated. So at certain distances, if you place you know, the regenerative repeater, what happens is it reduces the value or it uh, diminishes the value of the noise and it amplifies the value of the signal, message signal and it will send to the next repeater or the destination what we require. So repeaters are the our greatest advantage when it comes to digital, digital communication. What will it happen is greater SNR value. See, we will have greater signal voltage when compared to the noise in case of uh, if we use digital repeaters. Now coming to the multiplexing, in digital communication synchronizing is great. So we can use uh, time division multiplexing rather than frequency division multiplexing what we have been using in the uh, analog communication. In the previous video, we have seen the analog signal converted into the digital signal. Let us take a look at it once again. Initially, it is an analog signal which is continuous in time and continuous in value. Later, when it is sampled, we will get the signal that is discrete in time but continuous in value. And one more time, when it is quantized, we will get the signal that is discrete in time and discrete in value. Finally, when we encode that signal, we will get the digital signal. We will 
give a detailed description of these blocks that is what is sampling, what is quantizing, what is encoding in the upcoming videos. So keep watching, subscribe to Smart Student to be a Smart Student.